Now for part three, what we're going to do is you're going to take your thumb and you're going to bring it over the top of the neck of the guitar here. And you're going to press down firmly on the first fret, okay? So I've got my thumb pressing down firmly on the first fret of the low E. I'm going to pick that note and after I picked it, I'm going to, going to continue to press down firmly with my thumb. And I'm going to slide up two frets to the third fret of the low E. That will sound like this to begin part three. Now once I've done that, I'm then going to pick the G string open. Okay, so so far here in part three, we have this played slow. And then following that, what we're going to do is we're going to form a little chord here. It's actually going to be the bottom four notes of a G major bar chord. We're going to form it a certain way so that we can play a melody here. What you want to do is you want to take your pointer finger first and you want to bar across your B and your high E strings here at the third fret and kind of slant your finger a little bit so that you can form these other notes here. So the first thing we do, take your pointer finger and you lay it flat here at the third fret bar across your B and your high E. I'm pressing down firmly on those two strings at the third fret. Then take your middle finger and place it on the fourth fret of your G and be sure that your middle finger is curved so that you're not touching the strings below it. And then you're going to take your ring finger and you're going to place it here on the fifth fret of your D string. So the, th so the four notes that I have pressed down now are the going to be the fifth fret of the D with my ring finger. I've got the the, here I've got the 4th fret of the G with my middle finger and with my pointer finger I'm pressing down on the 3rd fret of the B and the high E strings. Okay, Now here I want to say what I'm going to do. So be sure that first thing you do is you form this chord. Now once you have it formed what we're going to do is this. To begin here I'm going to pick my B and my high E strings together. Okay, And after I've done that I'm going to take my pinky and I'm going to hammer on to the 5th fret of the high E and then immediately pull back off. Okay? And I know that's hard to see because my ring finger and my middle finger is kind of in the way. It's important that you form that chord, but I'm going to move my ring finger and my middle finger so that you can see what happens there. To play that slowly here will sound like this. Okay? But that's played. You'll have that chord formed and you'll play what I just did. You'll play the B and the high E together, 3rd fret. You'll pick them together, take your pinky hammer on to only the 5th fret of the high E and then immediately pull back off. That will sound like this. So, so far here in part 3 we had this played slow. Now after you've done that, you're then going to pick the B and the high E strings together one more time. And nothing's changed. It's still the 3rd fret of both those two strings. You'll play them together. Okay, so so far here in part three, we had this played slow. And then after we've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to pick your middle finger up off the board so that now your G string is open. My ring finger is not touching that string. It's curved in a way so that the G string is open. What I'm going to do next is I'll pick my middle finger up off the board I'm going to pick the G string open. Okay, so far here in part three, we had this played slow. Following that, what you're going to do is you're going to place your middle finger back onto the fourth fret of your G. So we've got that chord formed once again. And what we're going to do is this you're, now you're going to pick the G string and the B string together so we will the notes that we will be playing will be the fourth fret of the G and then the third fret of the B. I'm going to pick those two notes and then after I pick them I'm going to take my pinky and I'm going to hammer on to the fifth fret of the G so that will sound like this. Okay so far here in part three we had this played slow And then what we're going to do now is I hammered on with my pinky to the 5th fret of the G string was the last thing that I did. I still have that chord formed in the background, okay? It's real important that we keep that chord shape. 
What we're going to do next is, like I said, my, I'm hammering on to the 5th fret with my pinky of the G string. Now next what we're going to do is this. You're now going to pick the G and the B together. The two notes that you will be playing here will be the 5th fret of the G where your pinky is and the 3rd fret of your B where your pointer finger is. That will sound like this. After you've done that, you're going to pick your pinky up off the board. You still have that chord formed. Once again, pick the G and the B strings. Now you are playing the 4th fret of the G and you are still playing the 3rd fret of the B. So far here in part 3 we had this all together played slow. Then what we're going to do next is you're going to place your pinky back onto the 5th fret of your G and you're going to pick your G and your B strings together once again. And then after that, pick your pinky up off the board, pick your G string only, and then pick your D string only. And that will end part 3. Part 3 played all together in slow. Now that's part three played slow. Here I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit. Part three played a little faster will sound like this. And now part three played in roll speed. Parts one through three played in roll speed.